Why did the retiree keep his calendar empty? Because every day is Saturday. Welcome, friends, to an insightful journey exploring the 10 ways the less affluent approach retirement. It's a crucial topic, as understanding these approaches can help us all make better financial decisions, regardless of our current economic status. We'll unravel these methods, shedding light on common pitfalls and missed opportunities in retirement planning. The aim is to empower each one of us to navigate our golden years with wisdom and grace. So, buckle up as we dive into this enlightening countdown. At number 10, we have neglecting savings. The importance of saving for retirement cannot be overstated. Some folks, however, underestimate the power of a healthy savings habit. They might think they don't earn enough to save, or they might prioritize immediate gratification over long-term security. But here's the thing, even the smallest amount saved consistently can grow into a significant nest egg over time, thanks to the magic of compound interest. It's like planting a seed and watching it grow into a mighty tree. Neglecting savings is like ignoring that seed, leaving it without water or sunlight. The implications? An insecure retirement, financial stress, and limited options in your golden years. This approach is akin to sailing into a storm without a safety net. So, let's flip the script, shall we? Embrace savings, however small, to build a secure future. Remember, a penny saved today is a penny earned tomorrow. Number 9 on our list is ignoring pension plans. Ah, pension plans, those pesky little things that seem to be on the I'll think about it tomorrow list for far too long. But here's the thing, my friends, pension plans are like that trusty umbrella you keep forgetting to carry. You might not feel the need for it when the sun is shining, but when it starts pouring, you'll wish you had it. Think of pension plans as your financial umbrella for those rainy days post-retirement. Ignoring them can lead to a stormy and uncertain future. It's like walking into a candy store with no money. You can see all those delicious treats, but you can't enjoy any of them. So don't let retirement be a candy store where you're left staring at the treats. Start planning for your pension today. Remember, a pension plan is like a parachute. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Coming in at number 8, we have underestimating life expectancy. Now, it's a blessing that medical advancements are allowing us to live longer, healthier lives. But when it comes to retirement planning, this longevity is often overlooked. Simply put, the longer you live, the more money you'll need to sustain your lifestyle. Imagine you're planning a road trip. You estimate the distance, calculate the fuel you'll need, and off you go. But what if the journey is longer than you anticipated? You'll run out of gas before reaching your destination. The same principle applies when planning for retirement. If you underestimate your life expectancy, you risk running out of savings before you cross the finish line of life. Therefore, it's crucial to consider the possibility of living longer than average. Plan for a long retirement and ensure your savings can stretch the distance. After all, just like in a marathon, it's crucial to pace oneself for the long haul. In at number seven, we have not diversifying investments. Imagine this, you're at a buffet and you only fill your plate with mashed potatoes. Sure, they're delicious, but you're missing out on the other mouth-watering delights. Same goes for investments. If you're only investing in one type of asset, say, real estate or stocks, you might be setting yourself up for a financial downfall. It's a risky game to put all your future retirement dreams in one basket. The market isn't a predictable beast. It dances to its own rhythm. So what if your one basket takes a hit? Well, there goes your retirement plan spiraling down with it. That's where diversification steps in. By spreading your investments across a variety of assets, you're cushioning your retirement fund from the unpredictability of the market. One asset might take a hit, but others could thrive. It's a balancing act, ensuring your nest egg remains intact. Remember, diversification is the financial equivalent of not putting all your eggs in one basket. Taking the number six spot, we have relying on social security. Now, we all know that social security can feel like a cozy safety blanket. It's something we've all been contributing to throughout our working lives, and it's there to provide some income when we retire. But here's the catch. It's not designed to be your sole source of income during retirement. Think of Social Security as a piece of your retirement puzzle, but not the whole picture. It's more like a life raft than a luxury cruise ship. It's there to keep you afloat, but it's not going to provide the comfortable, worry-free retirement that most of us dream of. Why, you ask? Well, the monthly benefits can be quite modest, and they're not guaranteed to keep up with inflation. Plus, the future of the Social Security system itself is uncertain. So while it's a helpful part of your retirement plan, it's not a good idea to rely on it entirely. Social security can be a safety net, 
but it shouldn't be the whole circus. At number five, we find overlooking healthcare costs. Now let's be real, healthcare isn't exactly a bargain bin item. As we age, it's natural that we may require more medical attention. That's why planning for these expenses is as essential as packing an umbrella for a rainy day. Think of it as a rainy day fund, but for your health. You never know when you'll need to dip into it, but when you do, you'll be grateful it's there. And it's not just about major medical emergencies. Have you considered the cost of prescription medications, dental care, eyeglasses, hearing aids? They all add up, and they're all part of your health. The cost of healthcare can be a significant drain on your retirement savings if not planned for. So, do your future self a favor and put healthcare expenses into your retirement planning equation. Remember, health is wealth, especially in retirement. Number four on our countdown is not planning for inflation. Now, imagine you've stashed away a pretty penny for your golden years. But as time ticks on, you notice your purchasing power isn't what it used to be. That's inflation, my friend, silently nibbling away at your hard-earned savings. Inflation is the general increase in prices over time, causing the value of money to decrease. It's like a slow, steady current. If you don't paddle fast enough, you'll find yourself drifting backwards. This is why it's crucial to factor inflation into your retirement plan. Invest in assets that can potentially outpace inflation, such as stocks or real estate. These can help your savings grow and keep up with the rising costs. Remember, inflation doesn't sleep, it's always there, quietly eroding the value of your money. But with careful planning, you can fight back and ensure your retirement nest egg doesn't get scrambled. Inflation is like a thief in the night, silently eroding your savings. Coming in at number three, we have lack of financial literacy. Picture this, you're in a foreign country and you don't speak the language. You're likely to get lost, right? That's what it's like trying to navigate retirement without understanding finances. Financial literacy isn't just about knowing how to balance a checkbook. It's about understanding how investments work, the impact of inflation, how to diversify your portfolio, and so much more. Without this knowledge, you're like a ship without a compass in the vast sea of retirement planning. Making uninformed decisions can lead to disastrous consequences. You could end up with inadequate savings, too much risk in your investment portfolio, or even fall for financial scams. But here's the good news. Financial literacy is a skill that can be learned. There are countless resources out there, from books to online courses, that can help you get up to speed. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to finances. Number two on our list is no retirement goals. Imagine you're setting off on a journey but you have no idea where you're going. You might end up somewhere beautiful, or you might get completely lost. That's what retirement planning without goals is like. It's a journey into the unknown. Setting clear financial goals for retirement is like planting a flag on the horizon. It gives you a destination to aim for and a way to measure your progress. Without clear goals, you're just saving for the sake of saving, and that can lead to unnecessary stress and uncertainty. What's worse, without goals, you might not save enough to maintain your desired lifestyle in retirement. Or you might oversave and miss out on enjoying your money in the present. That's why it's crucial to set clear, realistic retirement goals that align with your lifestyle and aspirations. Without goals, retirement planning is like sailing without a compass. And the number one way the poor approach retirement is procrastination. Now, we all know that procrastination is a universal phenomenon, but when it comes to retirement planning, it's a dangerous game to play. The longer you delay, the harder it gets to build a solid nest egg. Think about it like this. Retirement planning is like planting a tree. The best time was 20 years ago, and the next best time is now. Every moment you delay, you're losing out on the opportunity for your investments to grow. This is due to the magic of compound interest, which works best when given time. Furthermore, the more you procrastinate, the more you're likely to rely on insufficient means like social security or low-yield savings accounts. Remember, retirement isn't something that just happens. It's something you need to actively plan for. So don't wait for tomorrow to do what you can do today. Procrastination is the thief of time and the enemy of a comfortable retirement. And there you have it, folks, the top 10 ways the poor approach retirement. We've journeyed through the pitfalls of neglecting savings, ignoring pension plans, underestimating life expectancy, and more. The key takeaway? Proactive retirement planning is crucial. No matter where you stand financially, remember it's never too early or too late to start planning for your golden years. If you found this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Until next time.
Keep planning and keep saving.